Uh, with that, um, uh, the chair now recognizes uh, the gentlelady, Ms. Bettecon, for uh, her five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Director Vogel, in your testimony, you said soil testing does not show any unsafe levels of contamination in lawns. For dioxins, this is measured in toxicity equivalents, and the contamination level for EPA that triggers a cleanup in residential areas is 1,000 parts per trillion or above. What level of toxin um, is the testing looking for to determine whether the soil toxicity is unsafe? Congressman, I would defer to US EPA on the dioxin testing. It is a work plan that is uh, underway for soils in the area. There are there were dioxins tested for in Indiana as well from some of the waste, and those results are publicly available. Um, I am aware that there are some preliminary lab tests back that have not shown any concerning health levels of contamination in the soil in the park, for example, that I mentioned today. But I would defer to Deborah Shore for any other follow-up on that. Congressman Barragan, let me add that uh, the soil samples are still being uh, going through quality assurance through the laboratory, but the pre preliminary reports are that there are nothing above what might be considered normal background levels uh, in the places where these soil ha samples have been taken. So is there like a level that is considered unsafe? I'm just trying to, if, if this testing has been done and they've determined um, that there's nothing unsafe, there's not unsafe levels, can you tell us what they're looking for that would determine that something is unsafe? I'd have to refer you to our toxicologists. I'd be happy to arrange a conversation with them and you and your staff. Okay. Um, for many states, the contamination level is lower than the federal standard. In California, it's 50 parts per trillion. In Michigan, it's 90 parts per trillion. In 2010, EPA scientists recommended to lower the federal cleanup trigger to 72 parts per trillion, but it did not move forward. In 2012, an EPA assessment found the safe level children can be in a regular contact with dioxins is 50 parts per trillion or less. Does anybody know if any of the soil tested in East Palestine have toxicity above 50 parts per trillion? I have not seen the qualified results, but I'm happy to share them with you once we get them. Okay. And I am assuming, Director Vogel, you don't have anything either. I don't, and I, I would just echo that once we do have tests, we do publish them and we make them publicly available. Commissioner Vins, anything on this? I have nothing additional, thank you. Okay. Um, Administrator Shore, one concern my office has heard is that relocation costs are not being covered by Norfolk Southern for everyone in East Palestine. How is it determined whether a resident is eligible to have their relocation costs paid for? I'm sorry to hear that. My understanding was that Norfolk Southern was covering temporary relocation costs for any resident who sought that. And I would direct you to Norfolk Southern to ask why they are being turned down. Can the EPA require that Norfolk Southern uh, cover relocation costs for anyone in East Palestine? I'll find out. Okay, Dr. Vince, the testing of drinking water, air, and soils have been found to be within safe levels. However, your testimony cites examples of residents complaining of sore throats and headaches. The Ohio Department of Health announced last week it has surveyed 450 residents and three quarters suffered from headaches and half had skin irritation, pain, or burning. Many had anxiety, coughs, or fatigue. Should we be alarmed by this discrepancy? And do you think it's safe now to be a resident in East Palestine? Yeah, thank you for the uh, question, Congresswoman. Um, at, at this point, we don't have any evidence of contamination uh, associated with the uh, derailment. However, we do continue to hear these concerns. 
Uh, I'm familiar with uh, some of this information as it comes out of our health assessment clinic, in addition to the ACE survey. Um, and these are the reasons that we continue to do the, the ACE survey and, hold, and stand up the, uh, the health clinic, uh, in addition to the ongoing monitoring of, of the groundwater relative to the private wells and, and uh, our state and federal partners to monitor air and municipal water as well. Well, well, thank you for that. Um, I want to just, you know, my hearts go out to to your constituents, uh, Mr. Chairman. And as we've heard today, we really need Norfolk Southern here. Um, some of the questions they were not able to answer or defer to them. And if I'm a resident, and you said this hearing's about the residents, if I'm a resident, the first question I'm asking is, what happened? How did this happen? And that requires somebody to be here to be able to also respond to that. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. I